And here we are. Good Thursday morning, Shady Hills Lions. It is a beautiful pre-Friday outside. It's beautiful out. Happy pre-Friday. And since tomorrow's Friday, what do we do, you guys? Whoop, whoop. That's right. We have a, a regular day today, which is good. But we want to get right into our news. So good morning, Finn. Good Thursday morning, everyone. Lunch today is turkey, potatoes, and a dinner roll. And tomorrow is pizza. Remember to say thank you to the cooks for all their hard work. For sure. We only have one student birthday to celebrate today. Happy birthday to Kane Root. Come down and get your birthday book in the office, Kane. Yes, sir. Come on down to the office. We have lots of books here waiting for you for your birthday. All right. So we had two trivia questions from last week since I was gone. Uh, that was one of them. Where was I? I was in Las Vegas. But what state is that in? The one before that was what was the little boy's name on Home Alone? So let's get to the, the first, the, the one that um, is the Home Alone one. I've got six and six, six winners from that question and six from the other one. So let me start with Miss Green's class. I've got Addison, uh, knew it was Kevin. Kevin was the boy in Home Alone. <laughs> let's see, in Miss Higgins' class, I have Helena. Come on down, Helena. In, oh, and again, Miss Green's class, Eli. I have Harper Savage. She knew it was Kevin. Good job. I have, I believe it's Jalen uh, in fourth grade. I'm going to put that up there. You know what your handwriting looks like. I, um, they also knew, and I'm Miss Bella Phillips. I'm keeping this one. I hope you don't mind, but I'm keeping this super cute one, and I'm going to put it on my board. Bella knew it was Kevin. The other six names for where was Miss Allen? Where, where's Waldo anyway? Well, in Miss Green's class, Annabella knew I was in Las Vegas, Nevada. Like we are in Spring Hill, Florida. We, I was in Las Vegas and the state was Nevada. Jason from Miss Green's class knew that I was in Nevada. Um, Kinsley Turner knew that I was in Nevada and, oh, actually Kinsley knew what the NFR stood for. So she answered one of them. The NFR, Kinsley said, stands for National Finals Rodeo. Kinsley, you are amazing, good job. Now this is our two, part winners. I gave you where was the state and what does the NFR stand for? I've got four people that get two prizes. These are the people. Ava Morris knew the NFR and Nevada. She put both of those answers on. Uh, let's see. Logan Soccer knew that Nevada and the NFR stands for National Finals Rodeo. And this says Keegan. Keegan in second grade. Come down. And last but not least, Lillian Crumpler knew it was Nevada and NFR stands for National Finals Rodeo. You four kids, because I asked a two-part question. If you ever get a two-part question on a test, make sure you answer both questions. You guys, you four get two prizes. Come down to my office. I've got some good stuff for you. Now, let's see. Finn, do we have another trivia question? Trivia question, because today's Thursday. Yes, we do. Today's trivia is. What are Frosty the Snowman's eyes made out of? Good question. Put your answers in the bucket if you know the answer. And I think you guys both know the answer here. I know the answer. You need to tell us the answer. You guys write it on your paper, put it in the bucket. Now, next week is dress up week. Tinsel, jingle, lights is Monday. Write it on your board, write it on your desk in your erasable marker. Make sure somebody somewhere in your room has the list of what we get to dress up as next week. Remember Monday is tinsel jingle lights. It shouldn't cost you anything to dress up. Make something up, shine brightly and make your own outfits if you want to. Now, um, if you wanna decorate your hallway, your den holiday hallway dress up, you have to have your stuff done a week from yesterday on the 14th, my click leaders, me and a couple of the staff members are going to be coming around looking at your decorations in your hallway for the holidays, hallway holiday. Now, last but not least, we have our click leader sock chocolate party in the media center tomorrow. Don't forget a holiday pair of socks to exchange. You don't have to participate, but we'd love to have you come. All right, stand up, put your right hand over your heart, have a tremendous Thursday and do your part to make these next six days amazing for yourself and each other. We dare you. Bye guys.